Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create neon glowing text using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. I've just got a blank project set up here. And the first thing we want to do is just create a black background for our video clip. I'm just going to right click inside the media pool here. Go to new item and select color matte. When I do that, it's going to ask me to set the width and the height. I'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second. And it's just going to be set at square pixels and click OK. And then just drag your mouse cursor to the top left to create a black color. Click OK. You can give it a name, but I'm just going to leave it as color map. Let's click OK and we can drag and drop that into the timeline here. OK, the next thing we want to do is just stretch this out. So let's just click here and stretch it out to give us a bit more time. We can adjust that later. It's just acting as a black background. And we can click on the text tool. So click on the text tool here and we'll go to the screen up here and we'll click and we'll type in whatever we want. So I'm going to type in neon <coughs> neon text. We'll then click on the um, selection tool. Let's just drag that towards the center. We'll center it afterwards and we'll expand the options. When you click here, you need to make sure you're looking at effects controls. If you don't see that, you can move to the top navigation here and just roll your mouse wheel and just roll it until you see text control effects controls here inside there you see the text controls let's expand that and inside here um, we can uh, select the font that we want to use so I might choose let's see I'm going to select this font here Josephine slab this particular font you can pick any font you like let's make that a lot larger I'm picking this kind of thin font because when you look at neon signs typically the you know the the, the actual um, uh, the tubes themselves are quite thin right and it's the glow around the edge that creates that sort of thickness to the text you could say so this is the text that we're going to use we need to fill it a color so I'm going to click on the color options and I want to pick like a sort of a pinky sort of color right you can choose any color you like I'm gonna have something like quite pink uh, something around here and we'll click OK and now we've got this pink text and now we want to add some sort of glow to it so let's in fact save our work first okay next thing we want to do is add an effect to this text so we're going to go up to the effect section here and type in glow we're going to take vr glow and drag and drop that onto the text so here we've got the vr glow options for the luma threshold we're going to set that all the way down to zero for the glow radius i'm going to set that to around 30 somewhere around 30 like around 31 30 something like this the glow brightness i'm going to increase that all the way to the top and the glow saturation, I'm going to increase that all the way to the top. I want to use a tint color in here, so I'm going to enable the tint color. So it's going to go white because we need to select the right color from here. Let's click inside here and we'll go down to them same sort of pink colors. They have to be exactly the same, something like this. And I'm going to select a similar sort of pink color and click OK. Now we can start to see it glow like this. And we can improve this a little bit more. What we can do is scroll down to the text settings again as well. And what we will do is enable. Um, the stroke so we'll turn on the stroke and now you kind of got this white element to it and we can increase the stroke so we can set it to something like uh, it's up to you really but I'm going to leave it around let's say around six something like this and now you can just go and experiment with the different options in here just to see how you can affect the glow and just increase it a little bit and you'll get this nice sort of style of glowing text um, you know you don't need to use Photoshop or anything like that it's all done directly in Adobe Premiere and you can animate it as well so you can now start to animate these elements you can have like the glow flickering right off and on you can like flicker that using the uh, keyframing here it's quite an interesting way to do this so that's how you go about creating glowing neon text you can enable or disable the tint here and you can enable or disable the uh, the fill stroke and you can actually change the color of the stroke as well so you can click inside here and you have the stroke options you can pick a different color here for the stroke so if you want it's right now it's white so if you selected red for example then you'll get a different effect here right depending on the color so the edging here if we increase it or decrease it we can affect um, the style of this glow so you need to go and experiment we'll click back on the stroke I want to leave it at white uh, let's click on let's see actually what will happen if we say it's a black we kind of get this like black thin line around there you can increase that or decrease it yeah experiment with it so let's leave that at white as it was before because I prefer the white sort of um, glow inside and then 
we were to zoom in on this, let's zoom in, kind of get an understanding of what's going on here in terms of the edging. So it's sometimes worth zooming in just to see what's going on. Okay, so I'll leave you to go and experiment with that. You can go and now create your own sort of neon glowing text, experiment with it, see what sort of style and design you can come up with. Sometimes I will go to the text options here and inside of the text here, you can just roll, keep your mouse over it and just roll the mouse wheel just to see the different fonts or the selections of fonts that you've got in here and you can go and find a nice font that you like um, and this is a quick way to just see how that text looks some of the fonts it will be a bit more obvious like the white outline can you see you can see it a bit more clear enough um, so it's really down to um, whichever font you prefer so something like this looks quite nice as well you can just drag it if you want to center this exactly in the middle of the screen you can click on the registration point here in the corner here start to drag it and hold down the control key and that will drag it to the exact center point here of this neon text then you can just click on the text itself hold down the control key again and then you can drag that to the center point sometimes it's worth centering things out in case you want to rotate it uh, from a center point right so you may want to rotate it like that because it's kind of like a sign on the side of a building or something like this if you want to do that let's just rotate that back around I'm just going to save this work let's minimize this that's how you go about adding neon text uh, using Adobe Premiere. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.